Hey, this is David Charney here. Uh, today I wanted to take a look at the Rise Scenario block. Uh, this is a, a newer addition to the Rise tool set, and I really think uh, Articulate did a, a nice job on this. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be adding more functionality over time, but this is an excellent addition to Rise. Uh, and it'll absolutely be valuable for uh, developing your audience's performance through various scenarios. So I want to take a look at a, a project I put together uh, and then we'll go kind of behind the scenes and see how it was uh, constructed. Uh, and speaking of constructed, uh, we are on a construction site today. So I'm going to uh, click continue here. This is kind of the screen where we can set everything up in this uh, scenario. So I'm going to click continue. So welcome to the job site. What do you plan to do today? So you can see there's a background here. There's a character and the character has a certain uh, pose slash expression. And then I've got a number of options. I'm going to just say I'm going to look around. And you can see that the character is going to change their uh, expression, and they've got feedback. So this is a dangerous site. We can't uh, have you just looking around. So I'm going to click Continue. And I'm back on the street. Sorry, you've been kicked off the site. Make sure you follow the rules next time. So then I can start over. And I'm back to where I was. Um, welcome to the job site. Uh, I could say this uh, I, uh, second one here, but I'm going to say this first one. I'm not sure why I'm here today. And uh, again, confused kind of look. I don't know why either. I'm going to need you to find out why. So I'm going to click Continue. And you can see now I've jumped to another scene. I'm calling this person at the office. And yeah, you're supposed to be checking the dimensions before you pour the foundation or before they pour the foundation. Make sure you check your uh, tasks next time. So uh, again, I didn't spend a lot of time putting this together, but this could be a, a good way to provide additional information and help someone along if they're not uh, if they're not getting it. Um, so I'm going to continue, and back here again, and this time I can say I need to check the dimensions. Now I know what I'm supposed to do. You can see she's happy, and let's take you to Greg to see uh, or to get you a, a site pass. So I'm going to continue. Now we're in a different scene with Greg. Hey, I'm Greg. Thanks for coming by. Where's your PPE? Now, you might not know what PPE is, which is fine. What we're going to do is we're going to select uh, what is PPE, uh, personal protective equipment. So we're explaining what that is. If you don't know that by now, I can't allow you on the site. You know, it's really important that the person taking this should know what that is. So uh, we're going to allow them to start over and go through this again. I need to check the dimensions. Uh, so I know this now, so I can jump right back to the Greg scene. I could say I don't need PPE today, and uh, you don't need personal protective equipment. Then you can't be on my site today. Are you sure you don't have it? Uh, what's nice now is I've got to try again instead of a continue. Um, that's a setting you'll have. So I can click try again. It takes me right back to where I was. I could just say it's in the truck. And all right, Greg's happy, no problem. Uh, we can get you signed in, uh, then I need you to get your personal protective equipment before entering the site. Okay, so I'll continue. I'm back on the street, but now, nice job. You've completed your task and back on the street, time to head home for the day. So that's all I put together in this scenario. Again, uh, just a quick example of how we can uh, put someone in a situation, put them in different environments, different scenes, working with different people. So, uh, you know, it's, there's quite a lot we can do with this. So let's uh, take a look at how this was put together. Okay, I'm in Rise here. I've got a, uh, an item here with blocks, uh, one being the scenario block, uh, but I'm going to create a second one here. So I'll just say Scenario 2 and hit Enter. I'll add content, and I want to get to all the blocks. Um, so uh, I think it's in the interactive block, or maybe it's in the knowledge check. Nope, it's in the interactive block, so we're going to choose Scenario. And let's close that. So this is how it starts. Uh, settings, not much there, but uh, edit is really where the magic happens. So there's a bunch of stuff here. I'm going to just remove some of it because it gets a little hard to look at. We'll just start with scene one, where you can set your background. So I could upload an image or I could select something from the library. So you can search very easily. Office. And we'll just select this first one. So she's at the office. And I won't change my character, but you can just click and select any of the uh, characters Articulate has here. And then I'm going to go to Scenario Title. 
So scene is really where you set up the environment and the character. So in my example where we're jumping to different environments, I'm really jumping to different scenes. I set up a different scene for each environment. So if I go to scenario title here again, this is where I can really start putting this together. Uh, so I can title this. Where were you? Every customer we have is calling and you were gone. So let's make them angry. So here's angry. Now currently this is just a text screen. So if I preview this, uh, whenever you wanna see how your scenario is developing, you can click preview from beginning or preview from current screen. So I'm gonna preview from beginning. So in this case, we're just looking at a, basically a title screen or we can use these screens anywhere uh, we don't want to actually interact. And so uh, what I could do, I can leave this preview and instead of text, I can go to dialogue. And now I can say, where were you? Every customer we have is calling and you are gone. So uh, she's angry and now I can put in some responses. I was on my break. All right, so um, then I'll hit enter. So you can have up to three responses. I hope uh, in the future, maybe you can have more responses, um, at least four, uh, but right now you can have up to three. So I'm on my break. So now what happens when you select this? Uh, let me just preview this again. So you can see how this is kind of building. So now I've got an option here. I was on my break. Uh, now what happens when you click that? I want them to be happy. Okay, yep, that's uh, that works. So then they can say, oh, that makes sense. All right, so this one was easy. Um, and then if I preview this again, I was on my break and see she's happy. Oh, that makes sense and continue uh, and scenario complete. So um, that is because we end the scenario there. So that's you know pretty simple. Um, let me jump back now to the example I started with, and we can see how uh, we can put all this together now. So if I go back to scene one, first off, you'll see, again, I've got a scene for each kind of environment. I've got uh, this scene here. I've got the scene with Greg. I've got the street scene, um, and you'll see that on any of these, you can hide your character. So while you see her there, she doesn't show up in the final. And then in scene four, uh, we've got the uh, the woman that we call to uh, find out what we need to do on the job site. So uh, then what we can do, and let me go to the first item here. This is where I've got a text screen. And uh, again, if I preview just that, all that is is uh, this sort of screen here. You click continue, and that takes us to this 1.2. Welcome to the job site. What do you plan to do today? Um, I chose the pose of asking, and I'm not sure why I'm here today. Um, so you've got three different options here, and each of them has feedback from the, uh, from the character, and you can change their expression, and then you can see that because I've got a lot of different scenes and screens within those scenes, I can jump to any of them depending on what I select. So it works really well if you want to create kind of a branching scenario. Now you'll also see that if I go to uh, Greg here, Greg's scene, I can also set one of these as a try again. So if you wanna just kind of loop back to here, so you might have uh, two answers that are wrong. You don't wanna necessarily take those to a different screen. You just want to uh, keep the person on the screen until they get the right answer. So you could set all these to try again. And then um, in scene four, another nice feature is uh, if you want, they certainly have these kind of preset character poses and expressions, but you could always click more and, and find the one that works best from uh, all the different images that uh, Articulate has of these different characters. And then again, uh, the scene three is really the end screen that I use. So I've got two different end screens. One, if you're back on the street for uh, you know a, a bad reason, and one, you're back on the street for a good reason. And I hide the character for each. I set it to end scenario for each. 
and and I've got some custom messaging here. This is set to text and not dialogue, so I've got really no options. And that's just how I want to conclude uh, my scenario. Uh, you could always have some additional information here, action items, whatever you need. So again, I really like this addition to Articulate Rise. Please check out the Articulate Rise scenarios block and consider using them with your own projects. Also, you can check out my step-by-step -step tutorial for building a branching scenario in Storyline, Articulate Storyline. Uh, I create a character satisfaction meter in that as well, uh, which adds kind of another a layer, a little bit more depth to a scenario like this. Uh, it takes it to the next level. So you can check that out at masterstoryline.com. And as always, happy e-learning.